Good morning, my DGENs. What's going on? What is going on? Let's have a look at Jasmine this morning. Of course, uh, down 4.6%. A little bit of a, uh, I mean, I don't even want to call it a correction, to be honest with you. Um, most of these projects, while they look like they're down, they're mostly just kind of sideways down. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know, if you if you go over the last week, I mean, most of them are just kind of ping ponging up and down, up and down on a daily basis. So they're down, but they're not down. I mean, hovering around that two cent level, um, one cent nine nine seven, uh, just a hair under a billion dollar market cap right now, nine hundred sixty seven million. The volume is still up though, one hundred and thirty one point five nine million which you do love to see activity. Very, very nice. Going over to Bitcoin, 76,000 right now, uh, $76,006. So Bitcoin continues to hold above uh, around that $76,000 level, uh, which is also something very, very bullish. We keep closing these daily candles, guys. Just wait till the end of this week. We're going to get a nice, solid solid weekly close guys not only on bitcoin but on uh, stuff like jasmine as well and it's going to be legendary we got some dca opportunities across the board today some things are pumping uh john 316 i'm looking at you brother crow is up 18.6 percent very nice pump on crow turbo is a nice dca opportunity down nine and a half percent not bad guys not too bad stuff like ondo render sui uh, SEI, Uniswap, some good opportunities. Let's go have a look over at the Jasmine chart, shall we? All right. So, as you can see, guys, we came down. Uh, we've we've come down below the 200-day SMA. I think that by the end of this daily candle, though, we will wick back up over top of it. We may be coming down to retest this level here at one cent nine nine five or nine five five as support uh, before. Uh, wicking back up over the 200-day SMA. Hopefully, that's what happens. I would like to see another, a third daily candle close in a row above the 100-day SMA before going up to the 200 up here. So uh, that's what we want to see here, guys. It kind of honestly, I mean, listen, it kind of seems to me like what we may be forming here is, you know, a little bit of a bull flag, you know. Now, it's just a four. It's just a beginning formation of it here, guys. It could take another week to form. I'm just saying, it kind of looks like we're starting. To, we're starting to make move in that direction. So, could we see the formation of a bull flag here, guys? Keep note of that because I feel. I feel like I'm probably right. We may see a bull flag and then a break to the upside. So, but we'll see what happens. RSI right now down at uh, in neutral at 55.85, and if we go to the weekly. Uh, the RSI is even cooler. Uh, it's at 48.91, so there is a lot of room uh, to go to the upside here. And, yeah, we're, we're going to have, no matter how you slice it, we're going to have a great weekly close, guys, for this weekly candle. We've broken out of this descending wedge pattern, this falling wedge pattern, uh, both on the daily and on the weekly time frames. So a nice close above there, maybe a retest of the trend line, and then a break to the upside guys alt season is coming and i actually have that on the docket today uh on the patreon we're going to do a, another group zoom call and we're going to discuss it uh something very very important when it comes to that so right now like i said we got bitcoin sitting at uh 76 000, uh it's up at seventy six thousand two hundred. is that accurate let's refresh it let's refresh it just to be sure Okay, so we're on the weekly here. All right. So, yeah, look at that weekly candle, guys. Very, very nice. Let's go back over to the daily. Yeah, 76,200. 76,200. Very nice. So, we want to continue to close, guys. I'm hoping we can close above uh, two days ago. We set a new all-time high right here. I'm hoping we can close above there today, which we are above right now. Um, and then just like, let's continue going here to the upside guys. This is fantastic closing on Bitcoin. Um, it's possible we could come and retest, uh, around 72,000 would be like the worst case scenario for me that we would come down and, and retest that as support. It's not guaranteed. As long as we continue to close above 75,600, then we're sitting pretty. So that's, that's where I'll be looking. Uh, we do have some jasmine stuff to get into let's go check in on 
Um, Steph is crypto. He says, Jasby's chart shows a classic cup and handle pattern forming, setting up for a potential breakout, targeting a price move to 62 cents if resistance is cleared. So he has a target out of this uh, cup and handle pattern of 62 cents. Uh, he's talking with the big picture going into next year, guys. He's not talking about over the next couple of weeks, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, I got a little bit of a speculative thing here, a little little juicy nugget to, to put drop in your in your lap. So uh, Neo Sun says, did Hara Sun uh, reveal that Jasmine is actually a venture capital company of Sony? Uh, I don't see any other company in collaboration with Ave Aveda. Uh, besides Jasmine and Aveda itself. And on top of that, he keeps referring to Sony more and more, saying that Jankshin is backed by Sony. As you can see here, he says, this is a quote from Hara, the second is a technology that, uh, that enables one's own device management. Uh, this allows uh, one, of the uh, one to constantly monitor the status of one's own device even in remote locations we have obtained a patent for this purpose utilizing these technologies uh, we have developed new product it is the world's only blockchain pc which was released in hong kong in may of 2023 and as you can see jasmine a sony venture company and aveda hong kong pc brand jasmine a sony venture company this is very interesting. This is very, very interesting. So again, the question is, is Jasmine actually a venture capital company of Sony? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some investigating. We're gonna have to do some deep diving into that. Maybe that's why there is no Sony partnership announcement because they're a venture capitalist or a venture capitalist. They they are actually owned by Sony, a Sony venture company. Interesting concept, interesting concept. But we don't stop there, guys. We don't stop there. Check it out. More big news out of Jasmine. Jasmine will participate in DIS World next December 11th and 12th in Japan. Their theme is going to be digital transformation for government, regional, and education. DIS World organized by uh, Dial. Daiwabo, 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 uh, Information Systems, Jasmine's partner since the beginning. Um, we'll bring 180 suppliers to showcase the latest innovations in artificial intelligence and digital transformation. So Jasmine and Jankshin once again spearheading another, uh, another event here, guys. Uh, another, I don't want to call it, uh, we'll call it a... Uh, I don't want to say a conference or a seminar, but uh, convention, whatever you want to call it. Jasmine spearheading yet again, another one. This is like 20 this year, guys. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Dewabo, <laughs> probably pronouncing that terribly wrong. Working closely with Jasmine is Japan's largest publicly traded company uh, and top provider of integrated services. So they're actually... Uh, the, this company, Duabo, working with Jasmine and a Jasmine partner is Jasmine's, uh, sorry, is Japan's largest, largest publicly traded company. I did not know that. That is massive. Uh, they're specializing in IoT devices such as vending machines, computers, mobile phones, and servers for professionals, with the annual revenue exceeding $10 billion. Absolutely love to see that, guys. Look at that. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So the good news continues to roll out for Jasmine and Jankshin, guys. And yet, you will still have people whining and complaining that there's no good news, right? And I, to them, I say, you're wrong. Anyway, guys, as always, please like, please subscribe to the channel. Helps us grow. And if you want to sit down, guys, if you need help figuring out how to do research, if you need help with your portfolio structure, figuring it out to maximize your top return on investment. If you need help with uh, self-custody, DeFi staking, compounding gains, book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me. We Zoom call you for an hour. 
We chat about all things crypto. We help you get an understanding of how to put in your sell orders, how to make sure you're taking your profits properly in this bull run, guys. Those who try to do it alone the first time will almost always fail because you don't understand what's going on. And it's not as simple as you might think that it is, especially when euphoria and a logic of uh, euphoria is everywhere and logic has been completely thrown out the window by everyone, right? You will miss your windows to sell if you do not know how to identify where liquidity is in the markets so that your sell orders will fill. Make no mistake about it. The exchanges are not buying your crypto back from you. I know that it seems like that's the case, but if you are putting your sell orders where there are no buy orders, right, then you may be doomed to fail. If you're trying to sell your Jasmine at a dollar, no one's buying it at a dollar. And for every sell order, there has to be a buy order, right? You have to be able to know how to identify where liquidity is in the market, where buy orders are being placed so that you can put your sell orders in that same place. Because if there's no sell or no buy orders where you're putting your sell orders, guess what? The price is going to break right through the price that you put your, your sell order at and your sell order is not going to fill. OK, most people that are new to crypto don't understand this. The exchange is not going to buy your crypto back from you for, for whatever it is, like Jasmine at a dollar. OK, there has to be someone on the other end buying your crypto. The, the exchange is just an intermediary. All right. Now, I've been breaking this down over on the Patreon because a lot of people don't understand that. So we, we did a deeper dive into it, I think, yesterday. And we did a, a more comprehensive breakdown of how that works, okay? So get over to the Patreon, guys. Join the conversation. Uh, we also do group Zoom calls as well, where we discuss all of these things. And we help make sure that you are taking your profits properly, okay? Do not get left behind in this market because you're playing musical chairs. And if you don't understand, if you're wearing earplugs, meaning you don't have help, you're going to be standing there without a chair when the music stops, okay? So make sure you hit up the Patreon. The link is down below in the description. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later.